Step 1. Learn vocabulary. Appliance. An appliance is a piece of equipment used for jobs in the home. Many homes have appliances like ovens, toasters, and refrigerators. Basin. A basin is a large bowl for washing things. A sink is sometimes called a basin. She filled the basin with water and washed her face. Broom. A broom is a brush with a long handle used for cleaning floors. My father usually uses a broom to sweep away dust in the basement. Caterpillar. A caterpillar is a small insect that looks like a worm and eats plants. After eating a lot of leaves, caterpillars change into butterflies. Cupboard. A cupboard is a piece of furniture that is used to store food or household items. We put all of our dishes and food in the cupboards. Delicate. If something or someone is delicate, they are easy to break or harm. You should hold the baby carefully because she's very delicate. Emerge. To emerge from something means to come out of it. The hand suddenly emerged from the grave. Handicap A handicap is a condition that limits someone's mental or physical abilities. Joe has a slight handicap, so he uses a walker to get around. Hook A hook is a sharp, curved piece of metal used for catching or holding things. The fish went after the sharp hook. Hop. To hop means to jump a short distance. The kangaroo quickly hopped away from danger. Laundry. Laundry is clothes that have been or need to be washed. He folded the clean laundry and put the dirty laundry in a basket. Pursue. To pursue someone or something is to chase or follow them. The mother pursued her young child down the hill. Reluctant If someone is reluctant, they do not want to do something. She was reluctant to eat the meager breakfast. Sleeve Sleeves are the part of a shirt where your arms go. Ryan bought a new shirt with long sleeves to keep his arms warm. Spine the spine is the bone that runs up and down the middle of the back. Our spine helps us to stand up nice and straight. Stain A stain is a dirty mark that is difficult to clean. He had a red stain on the collar of his shirt. Strip A strip is a long, narrow piece of material or land. He had long strips of film that held images of his trip abroad. Swear To swear means to promise to do something. I will put my hand on the Bible and swear to do my best for the country. Swing To swing something means to move it back and forth or from side to side. He can swing a golf club very powerfully. Utilize to utilize something means to use it for a specific purpose. They utilized a pair of scissors to cut the ribbon. Step 2. Listen to the story without subtitles. The Kitten and the Caterpillar Katie the Kitten liked to play. One day, Cory the Caterpillar emerged from a hole in the wall while Katie was playing in the living room. Hey! Katie yelled. Do you want to play with me? Cory was reluctant. He said, I'd rather not play with you. I have several handicaps. My body is very delicate. Your claws are as sharp as hooks. You might cut me. Plus, I have no bones, not even a spine. You could easily hurt me. I swear that I won't hurt you, Katie said. No, I don't want to. He said again. He hopped from the wall, but Katie pursued him.
Corey ran into the kitchen and into the cupboard, but Katie chased closely behind. Katie knocked appliances to the floor. Plates fell into the sink and broke in the basin. Then he ran into a bedroom. Some laundry was on the floor. Corey hid under a shirt, but Katie saw him. She jumped on the shirt. Her paws left stains on the cloth, and her claws ripped the sleeves into strips. However, Corey escaped. He utilized a small crack in the floor to hide, but Katie saw him. Now you are trapped, said Katie. Corey tried to avoid Katie's claws. He moved his body as far into the hole as possible. He didn't know how he'd get out of the hole. Just then, Katie's owner came home. She saw that the house was a mess. She took a broom and swung it at Katie. She chased Katie out of the house. Corey was safe, and Katie was left outside because she didn't listen to the wishes of others. Step 3. Listen to the story with subtitles. The Kitten and the Caterpillar Katie the kitten liked to play. One day, Cory the caterpillar emerged from a hole in the wall while Katie was playing in the living room. Hey! Katie yelled. Do you want to play with me? Cory was reluctant. He said, I'd rather not play with you. I have several handicaps. My body is very delicate. Your claws are as sharp as hooks. You might cut me. Plus, I have no bones, not even a spine. You could easily hurt me. I swear that I won't hurt you, Katie said. No, I don't want to, he said again. He hopped from the wall, but Katie pursued him. Corey ran into the kitchen and into the cupboard, but Katie chased closely behind. Katie knocked appliances to the floor. Plates fell into the sink and broke in the basin. Then he ran into a bedroom. Some laundry was on the floor. Corey hid under a shirt, but Katie saw him. She jumped on the shirt. Her paws left stains on the cloth, and her claws ripped the sleeves into strips. However, Corey escaped. He utilized a small crack in the floor to hide, but Katie saw him. Now you are trapped, said Katie. Corey tried to avoid Katie's claws. He moved his body as far into the hole as possible. He didn't know how he'd get out of the hole. Just then, Katie's owner came home. She saw that the house was a mess. She took a broom and swung it at Katie. She chased Katie out of the house. Corey was safe, and Katie was left outside because she didn't listen to the wishes of others. Step 4. Answer the questions. 1. Which is not a reason that Corey was reluctant about playing with Katie? A. Katie had dirty paws. B. Katie had sharp claws. C. His body was delicate. D. He had several handicaps. 2. Where was Katie playing when Corey emerged from the wall? A. On the counter. B. In some laundry. C. In the living room. D. In the kitchen. 3. Katie did all of the following damage except A. Knock appliances on the floor. B. Break plates in the basin. C. Crack the kitchen door. D. Rip the sleeves of a shirt into strips. 4. What did Katie's owner swing at her? A. A broom. B. A shirt. C. Appliances. D. Laundry. Bonus. Mark each statement T for true or F for false. Rewrite the false statements to make them true. 1. Katie pursued Corey around the house. 2. The caterpillar had only one bone, his spine. 3. Katie swore not to hurt Corey. 4. 
Corey hopped off the counter and ran into the cupboard. 5. Katie's dirty paws stained the shirt. 6. Katie's owner chased Katie out of the house. Answer key. Answer the questions. 1. A. Katie had dirty paws. 2. C. In the living room. 3. C. Crack the kitchen door. 4. A. A broom. Bonus. 1. T. 2. F. The caterpillar had no bones, not even a spine. 3. T. 4. F. Corey hopped off the counter and ran into the kitchen. 5. T. 6. T.